everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and if you have been suffering like me with the auto aging glitch on short or long lifespan in The Sims 4, this is the video for you. I am hoping that this will actually fix your saves for you. So EA Cade over on the forum said the patch that went live yesterday, which was the emergency patch back at the beginning of August, does resolve the aging bug, but for new saves. Unfortunately, it cannot resolve the issue for saves that were hit with this issue already. Already. So I basically thought that my short lifespan legacy was out of the window. I didn't think that I was going to get it back because I had been hit with the bug and even though it was from a save way before the bug was even in my game, I still happened to get hit with it even after loading it up after the emergency patch. However, today I got tagged in this tweet. Jack, I swear I want to give you the biggest hug in the world. You can change to normal from the map screen play for a bit and then switch back to long and it's fine. I did it and had no issues and no random aging up. I'm gonna start off by saying for this to actually work you need a version of your save before anyone has aged up. So if you've been hit with the bug and then carried on playing and like saved multiple times and you don't have any backups unfortunately this method probably isn't gonna work for you. So what I did is I went back through my saves in The Sims 4 and I managed to find a version both from the 28th of June and then the previous version so it usually has like up to five backups saved within the game these versions are all from the 8th of June if you have no idea how to find a specific save or what it might be called what you can do is hit a save in The Sims 4 and then this button right here the copy save file path to clipboard you can hit that and then what you can do is go to your files and you can search for it so you can copy and paste this in hit enter and it will hopefully like search your computer for that specific save and all the back catalog of the versions also if you don't have a backup of your save like on a physical hard drive or on your desktop if you don't usually routinely back up your saves the sims 4 does actually save like five recovery saves that's why i say if you haven't saved a lot then you can probably go back to one of these like before the bug hit your game all you have to do is hit recover and then you just click yes and basically that will recover that earlier save it will pop up on the top of your saves and it actually has recovered in brackets so once you have this save you need to copy and you need to paste it into your actual sims 4 folder if it's not already in there be aware that you probably are gonna have to like name it something else make sure it has like all the same character letters but for example this one is probably gonna overlap so if I change that three to a four and then hit enter and then I can copy that and then what I can do is actually go to my sims 4 file this is basically where you put all of your mods go to saves right click and paste it and that will put that save back into your game so it will be there on load up that step is pretty much for only if you have them like backed up elsewhere just to make sure that you have that save and they haven't auto aged then what you're gonna need to do because it's probably gonna be from a little while ago you're gonna basically have to like browse through it'll be listed further down because they're in date order so as you can see this is the save that I was talking about it's from the 8th of June it is my my nightmare legacy so you hit play and this will load you up into the manage worlds this is the page that you need to be on if it is your latest save do not hit resume because that will spawn you actually into the family you don't want to be in the family you don't even want to touch this household until you have played with your age settings so you're gonna want to go to options game options and then gameplay as you can currently see my sim lifespan is set to short so I'm gonna change this to normal make sure you apply those changes after changing it to normal just for my own peace of mind and also so that I kept like the ages that they were currently on I turned off auto age so auto age played sims no apply those changes once again once those have both been applied you can exit out of your options and you can actually load in to your family so here we go all loaded in to the household obviously they don't have their new house yet because this is the old save but as you can currently see, it, they don't have like their ages listed, but they are still all 
around the age that they said they were going to be. Like, this progress bar is still exactly the same. The last time I played this, the toddlers were about ready to age up, so you can see that their birthdays haven't rolled back at all, and also, I am in live mode right now. The game is playing, the toddlers are fine, they aren't auto-aging, nobody is auto-aging. The last time I loaded into this household and I came to play them, even if it was a save from before the bug even existed, and the emergency patch had been out, everyone auto-aged minus Alexander Goth. I will say when I first tested this out before recording this video, I played for six sim hours. I think that was a little bit overkill. I just wanted to make sure that everything was working, but then you can pause your game once again. I would probably suggest saving now if you want to. It's not necessary. And then go back to your game options. Go back to gameplay and then we're gonna put auto aging back on. I am gonna apply those changes and then I'm gonna set my sim lifespan back to short. Apply those changes once again and then I will hop back into my family and boom. Nobody is auto aging. Things seem to have settled down. The toddlers still have their birthday but nobody's auto aging. It is honestly such a lifesaver. I have to thank Jack for this so much. I will link Jack's Twitter down below because I owe this fix to Jack. Honestly, I wouldn't have even thought about doing this. You can just save that game and you should be good to go. Back onto a short lifespan. As you can see, everyone is aging, ages up in three days. These two age up in two days and then these lot actually have their birthday today. The calendar is all good and hopefully it won't get hit by the Groundhog Day bug. That's all I need. There are, as always, extra steps that you can take to ensure that if you run into any Sims 4 issues that you always have a backup. I would suggest backing up literally before every patch and if you do choose to like repair your game in Origin or anything like that. So I'm just gonna remind everyone of how to back up. So you need to go to wherever The Sims 4 is saved on your PC. Literally the folder where you put like all of your mods where you can find your screenshots. You'll probably be very familiar with this folder, but it's in Documents, Electronic Arts, and then The Sims 4. Start at the Electronic Arts folder, right click on The Sims 4, copy The Sims 4, paste it to your desktop. I always say that having it on an external hard drive or a memory stick is the best option. If your hard drive or something in your PC fails, your backups being on your desktop isn't the safest option, but you can just paste to your desktop. If you don't want to copy the whole thing, I would say the three most important ones are your mods, your saves, and also your tray folder. Your tray folder is to do with your gallery and then also your screenshots if screenshots are important to you. And then if you do run into any issues in The Sims 4, if you feel as if like it's not like running as well as it should or there's some like little hit or misses, I would always suggest a repair game through Origin. So to do that, you right click on the game, you go on repair and then that will basically just like clarify all of the files. Make sure that everything is running smoothly. I'll hold my hands up and say I don't really know what it does. I think it just checks the game files to make sure that they're a-okay. I did them just to make sure that this was working before I went about dragging my save over, but I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was easy to understand. If you are like struggling with anything, if I said a couple of things where you're like, wait, hold up, like it feels like you missed a step here or I don't really understand like the way to do this, please do not hesitate to let me know down in the comments and I will try and help out as many of you as possible. I am so thankful that I managed to come across this. Big thank you to Joe as well, who actually linked me in to that tweet. I very much appreciate everyone who has helped out with saving my short lifespan legacy. And this also means that it's hopefully going to be returning to my channel very, very soon, probably within the next week, because my gosh, have I missed these Sims. And I know this isn't the only bug or glitch that we have in The Sims 4 right now. Trust me, I have the lag going in and out of 
create sim, loading up games. I fortunately, knock on wood, haven't seen the groundhog bug day yet and I hope that it's not gonna affect the save now that I've like messed with the lifespans a little bit, but I will keep you all updated. I'll probably pin a comment where I go into more detail about how it's working, if this fixed it for me in the long term. But hey, when you're at the end of your tether trying to figure out how to save a save that you might have had for years and years and years, I feel like this is a very, very good place to start. Please do let me know if this worked for your saves. I wanna hear it. I appreciate you all so much. I hope it was helpful and I'll speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.